Gabby. I'm a farmista and you can see I have some bins here which I am very excited about um, and you might also notice that I'm in front of a blank wall. I mean there's stuff hung up above me but anyway. Um, we have moved two times since the last time I put out a video and um, now we live in Iowa instead of Wisconsin. So uh, we just got to go back to Wisconsin this past weekend uh, to visit my in-laws and get some stuff out of storage. So I am very excited to kind of dig through these and see what all is in here. I did get, see some of these lids are popping open, which makes me a little bit nervous about what could have gotten into them in storage, particularly this one was popped open when I found it. This one's just been jostled since we put it in the back of the truck and brought it down here. So this one I'm not so worried about, but this one was popped open when I found it. And I'm kind of concerned that some little critters may have, may have uh, decided to make this their home. Let's dig in. I'll go with this one first because it's big and in the way. So. I'm sure there's some random things in here as well. Uh, let's take a look. Okay, so I have this Winnie the Pooh Crochet Your Characters kit. I got this on clearance from Hobby Lobby. I think it was June or July of 2020. So I got this one. And I have this box, which is very old. It's very old. My mom gave it to me right before when she was clearing things out when she was moving to Florida last over a year ago in December. Um, so it just says the shade. Part of the label is missing but you can see where it said turquoise and there's a reference number and it says line brand 100% pure Angora rabbit's hair. And this yarn is just gorgeous. I love this. Um, this is a latch hook kit that I got from Hershner's with Winnie the Pooh on it. This, oh my goodness, I knew this was going to be interesting. Okay, this is some of that jumbo jumbo Chanel yarn. This one, oh my goodness. So, story with this and the gray is I started making a rug and I just did not like how it was turning out so I frogged it. Uh, and I had it balled up and then my daughter, who was about one at the time, uh, thought it was a fascinating little kickball and so that is why they're disheveled that way. Okay, I do see the Winnie the Pooh canvas is in here. So not even an inch all the way across the bottom, but I got a decent amount of his uh, hand done. And this is a printed canvas. Um, I can follow a chart with latch hook kits because I did when I worked for Hershner's and customer service. They have you work on uh, the different items of theirs that they photograph and put in the catalog, which is a really cool job perk. Um, okay, here is a granny square that didn't quite have enough to go all the way around. This wasn't for anything in particular, I was just trying to use up the scrap ball. Here are some knitting needles. Now we found, I was with my mom and she found these knitting needles at the same thrift store as that jumbo yarn. They are 10 inch Brittany uh, 5.75 millimeter needles. I really like these needles, they're so smooth. I have a separate box for my knitting needles, which I don't think may be in Wisconsin still, actually, in the storage. Um, this was in my Hershner's haul 
almost three years ago. Same with this one. These are, well, they were in the Hershner saw. And I, none of them have labels anymore. Oh my goodness. A lot of this needs to be uh, rescued. Here's a doily. This my husband's great grandma made. I stuck it in here because I do want at some point to kind of, I want to attempt to make a garment out of some of these doilies and crochet with cotton around them. Um, but I don't have a specific plan for that yet, so they just sit in here with the rest of my yarn. Um, okay, so this is all tangled up with the other one. This is, it doesn't have a label clearly. I think it's the Soho something from Hershner's. I can tell you what this one is because it does well the label just broke this one is from Hershner's Soho Colossal um, so this is the same as this one that got kind of destroyed um, it's 100% polyester 30 yards machine wash lay flat to dry made in China distributed by Hershner's.com um, the 12.75 millimeter or 17 US knitting needles and 16 millimeter or Q-17 crochet hook. Jumbo size 7 yarn. Polyfill. This is Sundance Beads. I got this, I believe, at the, well it's marked for clearance, so I believe this was in the warehouse sale. I don't know if this was 2019 when I recorded or the year before. I honestly, I can't remember. Um, that's okay. Actually, I went to the warehouse sale three times in the four years that I lived in Stevens Point. So that may be, that may have been in my stash for quite a while. Red Heart Super Saver Hunter Green. Very large. Well, this is a rectangle doily. And a big square doily. Uh, more narrow rectangle. And a smaller circle. My knitting needles are in the bottom in here. I didn't know that it would fit in here, so that's good. This I have I have no idea honestly why this is in here at all. A little wrap. I'm trying to put the sequins on the outside. That I wore. Oh, I still managed to do it backwards. That's that's good. Anyway, I wore this uh, to our high school prom in 2013. I, if I think of it, I will put in a picture. This is Premier something or other. This I got at a Goodwill. It didn't have a label on it, but from working with it a bit and the sheen of it, I would venture to guess that it is Karen Simply Soft. It was just a partial scan, didn't come with the label on it. This one, I don't, it's very shiny, um, but I'd say it's a two or a three. It's almost like a, it's like a baby weight yarn. Um, it's very shiny, white. This came in the same Goodwill bag. I got a decent size bag. I mean, the bag was about this big from Goodwill. Um, I want to say that I paid $5.99 for it. And um, they had a whole bunch of different things. Most of them didn't have labels on them. But. Okay, so, oh my goodness. This is different from the brown that is making a huge mess in here. Um, I know the colorway of this is called Sunny. Um, I got this to make, I was going to make a Winnie the Pooh 
doll for my daughter on the knitting machine because my knitting machine actually works really, really well with these. And it just glides right through. Um, but I never got around to it and I ended up using it for other projects. So I used it, I made her a little trick or treat basket that looked like Winnie the Pooh's honey pot and this was like the honey on the rim and it had a handle with this too. I'm sure there's more of this that I have yet to come across. This stuff gets tangled so bad. Um, this is scraps that need to be wound of, oh, and it's been spliced together. That's me, not how it came in the ball. Or the cake. This was a cake of Lime Brand Comfy Cotton Blend. And I made my daughter a little Easter dress for her first Easter. It was like an Easter in the floor uh, for her first Easter out of this. And it just really needs to be rescued, the rest of it. So, this is the Loop It yarn. Um, it, I think this colorway is called Dirty Martini. But I got it because it looks like pink camo. Um, I got it from Joann's, and somewhere there's another lump of this. This has been balled up, but this is Red Heart Super Saver. I want to say the color is Sorbet, but I could be very wrong. Um, this has been used in many a project, and I have this chunk of it left. I believe is a little uh, peaches and cream cotton. Can't tell you the colorway. I don't remember, but I made it. Or I bought it to make a flamingo themed cup cozy or mug hug for my mom right before she moved to Florida. Um, this is Hershner's Varsity yarn, which the, the Varsity has been discontinued, I believe. Now they call it something else, and they have different. They had brown, which nobody really bought, so I got it at the warehouse sale. Uh, I used it to trim out a big king size blanket I made for my husband, uh, which is why it's tangled in the screen, the other skein. So that needs to be rescued. This was a started mitten that I made on my small knitting machine. So what I would do is I would take the um, this end and cinch it up, and then I turn that other end in, and you have a double thick. Okay, I'm thinking here. Then you have a little double thick baby mitten because when you have babies or toddlers. Uh, they can't figure out the whole thumb thing, so you just put their whole little paw in there. This one I think I didn't finish because when I had tried, this was a practice one, and it had gotten a snag here too, and, and, and there was a join and all that good stuff. But anyway, um, when I had folded it in, it just wasn't really long enough because I wanted it to be up inside her coat, obviously, so that it didn't just fall off all the time. So this one wasn't quite long enough. I don't know what do you do with a practice mitten then. You only have one of. I. This is from a Hershner's warehouse haul. This was the year before I made the video. I have this to make myself a pair of mittens, and I have one and a half mittens done, or possibly two mittens done, but not the thumbs. And I have been working on them for four years. They've just been being put on timeout a lot, and now because. Not because they've been a pain to do or anything, but I had gotten one done, and then I found out I was pregnant with my daughter, and so then I started just doing baby projects. I wasn't making mittens for myself, because baby stuff is more fun. So, this goes to my mitten project. This needs to be rescued. Which is the same, the same yarn. Um, this rug has been on timeout since the last video. Um, I think
think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to basically rip it all out. And I'm going to make it a rectangle, at least up in, I, okay, I think I'm going to use Mama Mama Kayla's tutorial on how to start a granny rectangle center. Make a rectangle and then when I get to the end I'll kind of round off the corners. Because this oval is not, it's not agreeing with me. I'm going to set aside because it was supposed to be just in this project bag by itself, but moving. This I think is Karen Simply Soft, but it didn't have a label and it was from the same Goodwill bag. <coughs> I need some water here. So I'll put my rug back in here. Crochet hooks are in a different spot because they did move right away with me. It was just that most of my yarn did not, like three skeins of yarn came with me. Um, anyway. Oh, okay. So there are some random craft things in here as well. Uh, for instance, this is an applique. And, oh, it's an iron on. That's what I was trying to figure out. Simplicity Iron On Applique, and it's little bees. And I just picked it up one day at Walmart because I thought it, or Joanne maybe. I picked it up because I thought it was really, really cute. I will use it someday. But it needs to be in my sewing bin, not in my yarn, and then it would be more likely to get used. Uh, this is a random, it's not that random, it's a flannel receiving blanket. Um, I had plans to make a little uh, patchwork flannel like quilt because um, I had a tiny bit of this really cute sheep flannel that the sheep were sitting and knitting. And I made my daughter a cradle sheet out of it and I had leftovers but just like not enough to make anything significant out of so I was going to cut out the little sheep and then make this patchwork. I ended up donating the rest of these blankets because um, they were taking up half the bin and I decided I wasn't going to do that project. I was going to do something else with the little sheep. Um, so this one just didn't get donated. Ooh, this I have, this is peaches and cream. This is the second skein of the earth skein, ball, whatever you want to call it, that I have bought. It is the mint, um, and it's just their cotton, peaches and cream cotton. Uh, but I made a whole thing of little, um, washcloths out of this and another pink. But I just like this color so much that I bought another one. Just to have on hand. This is from yarn. Excuse me. Sorry. Um, I got this to make a spider for my husband. Or a scorpion. Or maybe both. I made him a scorpion, but I think I was going to make him a tarantula out of this because it's so prickly fuzzy looking. Uh, I balled it up because the skein was exploding, um, and I never made the spider, so I should maybe do that. This is Hirschner's Heritage Cotton, and it's a number four, like the other cottons, but this is not even comparable to the peaches and cream, and like the, the softness of it is just crazy compared to this. But they're, um, I want to say they're comparable price. Oh, you know what? I'm looking at this. It is 75% cotton, 25% polyester. So that would have something to do with the fact that it is not as soft. I mean, I know cotton can be soft, don't get me wrong, but as far as like a budget cotton goes, this is 100% and this has, sneaks in that polyester, which obviously helps with the softness. So, um, I was, I got this to make, I was making little toys um, for like a, um, not a mobile, but it was a play mat. And my daughter was a baby and it had little farm animals and I made like a sheep and a guinea pig and a duck and a cow and out somewhere in here I'm going to find a donkey that I started. Um, but anyways, I was making a whole bunch of critters. I mean, this was going to be for a uh, chicken. And this, I can just tell you by how it feels, this is peaches and cream, 
whatever their yellow is called, and I need the duck out of this one. Um, here's leftover pink that I made those uh, like face washcloths out of the peaches and cream. I did mint and then this, I want to say this is called raspberry, maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, here, let's see. Peaches and cream. Oh, sunshine yellow. a teeny snake I made um, middle school on it, it was like a spool knitting room which I still have but it is in the other room and I'm not going to be getting up off of the floor to go get it so that I can show you I did used to have just one little bit of the red sticking out um, so that you could see his tongue but I made him a, a little head and different color tail there's just a, I don't know, I was just playing around on the knitting room and that is what I made for both. I didn't know I still had him or her, I guess, considering the colors. More Hirschner's Heritage Cotton. Same plan for this was to, well, I was going to make a rooster. Um, and so this was going to be part of the tail feathers for those little critters I was making. Peaches and cream, bright orange, it is bright orange. This I used for the feet and the bill of the duck. Here's some white, this is a very fine, it's probably a baby yarn, it's pretty soft, soft-ish. Um, you can tell it's acrylic. And I don't, I don't know where this came from. I have no idea, I have no idea where that's from. This is Soho something or other. I love this. It's like a roving style yarn and it's so, so soft. Uh, it's comparable, I would say. My camera uh, not so kindly reminded me that I am talking way too much. I need to speed up because after 29 minutes, it shut off. So here is a leg for a donkey. and simply soft I think the color is navy I made my husband a hat out of this many years ago and uh, I had such a hard time with it because it was splitting like crazy but I suffered through and um, it was a knit hat I have not really crocheted a whole lot with Karen simply soft but after that knitting experience I didn't really buy anymore except for that grab bag at Goodwill um, but it is his very favorite winter hat so the suffering was worth it this is my container of knitting needles and then there's also a drop spindle um, but most of these knitting needles were actually my sorry that's probably clanging on you can't even hear me most of these knitting needles were my great grandmother's knitting needles um, and she sent them to me when I started knitting and this was a light up pair night knit light size 13 uh, so the tips would light up which they don't anymore because they need new batteries um, but my great aunt sent these to me when I started with so these, put those in there. And some teeny tiny baby clothes pins that are adorable from um, Dollar Tree. And some trim from Hobby Lobby. This one's four feet long. This one I'm going to put on the bottom of a a dress or a skirt for my daughter. So now, that's pretty much everything except some random loose knitting needles. Okie bin number two. Now is this one I was concerned about being compromised in storage. Okay, Lime Brand Pound of Love. This one I bought, ooh, oops. I bought to finish a poncho and then reconstructed the poncho and didn't actually need it, but I'm going to make a little miniature toddler bed bedspread for my daughter out of this one. So I've been waiting to get this one specifically out of storage. This is the same brand as that purple that I am making the mittens out of. And I did mention this in my warehouse haul as well. Um, this is Willow Daily Tweed. I'm not going to go over all the details. 
And I have Red Heart Patty Green. Red Heart something that doesn't have the label, but you can tell it's Red Heart. Um, this is something from Hershner's. I believe it was in my warehouse hauls. Um, this is Renat Blanket. Sand Dunes, Sand Castle, maybe. Premier Yarns Mary, and I made uh, used some of this on a Christmas sweater I made for my daughter, which I need to have in a video. Uh, but of course, it's packed away in the Christmas bin with my Christmas sweater, so I have a picture. I'll try to remember to pop it in. Red Heart Tweed, something can't remember beige. This is furry yarn that was in my warehouse haul video. I made a little um, bunny outfit for my daughter's doll on this one. I had a video about that too, I think the last video. Whatever video I did doll clothes, uh, that bunny outfit was in there on this one. Uh, Peaches and Cream White. Bernat Baby Blanket. Uh, this was an attempt at a knitted sock. My camera was just refusing uh, to let me record any longer, so there will undoubtedly be a difference in pixely whatever that stuff is called, resolution uh, and sound. And I don't know which one will be better, but I guess this is it's an experiment. So I am sorry uh, for whichever one is worse, but we're now on my phone. And then in the future I will know which one to use and which one not to. This was in a Red Heart, this is, sorry, Red Heart Boutique Swerve, 50 cents from Hershner's Warehouse Sale. This is Loops and Threads Cozy Wool. I've had this since I moved to Stevens Point in 2016. Um, because I, I didn't have much yarn at all when I moved, but then there was a Michaels and Hershner's and Joanne. Um, so my husband went and picked me yarn shopping. This was one of the first things I picked up. This is the yarn I was saying I was going to wait to talk about. Okay, two dollars. Soho Lively colorway uh, funky F-U-N-K-Y. I love working with this yarn. I'm trying not to stop. This bin is shorter than the other one. Um, I love working with this. I would say it's comparable to Red Heart Unforgettable, but this is so much softer. Um, it's 100% acrylic. I just, I, okay, so I've worked with both. When I had bought this, I had not worked with both. Um, and it's just so soft. This was a warehouse sale, but the year before I recorded. Um, so that's why it has that yellow sticker on it. God, I need to speed up. This is undoubtedly homespun, though it was given to me after someone gave up on it, so I can't tell you the colorway, um, but you can tell that it is homespun. This one is also homespun, and it no longer has a label because I made one thing and the label came off. These ones, I'm, my mom gave these to me and they were like this, I don't know. And I mean, I've had these since high school. I, I really don't know, but I think she, she was making a sweater out of them uh, and then either finished or frogged it and gave up on the yarn or whatever. Um, I feel like this maybe has some wool in it. <clears throat> Here is a little scarf. I mean like little, like, you know, back when wearing scarves all day indoors was really, really popular. <laughs> made this. Um, it's one of those spiral ones. Didn't have a pattern, just was trying to do a flat one and it turned spirally and I just kept going with it, but I, I, yeah, I really like it. I think though that this is made out of the same one and I think that does have wool because it's a tiny bit scratchy. Um, free perks, old patterns from, uh, working at Hershner's. They were just 
like old patterns or maybe they don't have them anymore on the website or um, they reprinted them or something was wrong with them, they would, uh, you could take them home. That's a willow pattern, foxglove vest. Uh, here is a encyclopedia of dishcloths by Leisure Arts. Movement of dishcloths. Easy Afghans for knitters. I don't know where this came from. I will smack myself in the head. Um, I don't know where this came from. It says 475 on the back. I can tell you I didn't pay for it. I don't know if it was given to me by my mom or my grandma. Oh, it's got like binding on it. It's like a... Uh -huh. uh, you remember those, like the... Your cookbooks used to be like this, where they'd have a hard cover and the spiral bound. But again, I, I mean, this could have been given to me by Hirschner's. I don't remember. Usually Hirschner's, though, they will have their name on it. And that says Plymouth Yarns. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so this one is from Hirschner's. It's Old Time Kitchen Crossword Stitching. Or Crossword Stitching. You know what I mean. Cross Stitching. Counted Cross Stitching. Counted Cross Stitching. Worst to Date Throws, Volume 3. That was a, a while ago. Okay, Lime Brand Homespun Prayer Shawl Ministry Book by Leisure Arts. This one I know is a freebie from someone I worked with at Hirschner's. They gave it to me. Hunter Green Label. I made my husband a big blanket out of the Hunter Green. Uh, I believe this is yep, Patty Green because accidentally, one day, I bought four skeins of Patty Green instead of Hunter Green. So now they're just working. When I bought my retro knitting machine off of eBay, that is from the 70s, big box, it's from the 70s, it came with some yarn that someone had used on it. And this is scratchy as all get out, but I love it because you can tell it's an old pattern and it's kind of fun to wear that. I was knitting a blanket for my husband and decided to make it smaller because I was never going to get it done in time, so it's a lap blanket instead of a bed spread. Um, but I still have this on the needles. The other needle, this is the size 13, was in that other bin. So, that tells you how this got packed away at one point. Uh, it tells you. Okay. I think, I, I'm not even going to guess what color that is. Here's some homespun. That was a scrap ball from someone. This, my mom and I got as a freebie from some little yarn shop in Wisconsin Rapids, Wisconsin, when I was like 10 years old. And I've just never made anything with the rest of it. Uh, here's some of that Red Heart Scrubby that's gonna be all tangled up in here. I hope it's called Scrubby because I've said that like six times uh, throughout this video. And I feel silly for not remembering, but another uh, circular knitting needle. So this is one of those situations where the whole lump, oh my gosh, okay. Um, and then this eyelash stuff was like all of the, all of the deal. Yeah. This is just like, this was like, I remember, okay, for Christmas, I got the mega ball of yarn of this eyelash yarn. Um, and it was like, the ball of yarn was like this big and it came in a cardboard box with a handle on it. Now, inside that ball of yarn was a styrofoam ball about this big. It's just a little disappointing when you get to the middle. But, I mean, I still have some of that left, so clearly there was plenty of yarn. So I think that was a Christmas gift. Um, I was probably like nine years old, maybe 10, uh, when I was knitting from one of my aunts. Ooh, Hirschner's worsted weight yarn, $2 from the sale. That's all it says, it doesn't, it's not the worsted eight, it's not the eight ounce, it's the three and a half ounce. Um, medium flow rate, 100% acrylic. It's comparable to Red Heart Super Saver. This is Hirschner's Worsted Weight. 
I made my husband a Yoshi Amigurumi. Good for him. Mm -hmm. This thing was this tall. It was huge. I cannot really tell. I don't think I have a picture of it to pop in, other than maybe it's sitting on a shelf in the background of some picture, so I can't share that one, but Hometown USA, Lion Brand Super Bulky. Got this at a Hirshner's Warehouse sale many years ago, and I don't see the label, but this is what I made that little strip out of that was supposed to be a cup cozy. This is part of a Karen cake. This was from that same Wisconsin Rapids yard shop my mom had picked up, and I made a, a headband, head warmer, ear warmer out of it. I still have some left. Scrap fabric. thing cotton that's all tangled up with that other washcloth thing I was making. Uh, Fisherman's Wool, Lion Brand. Uh, this is the Bernat Blanket. Oh, Sonoma. That's this one. Red Heart Tweed or Flex or whatever they call that. I have a bunch of labels down in here. was yarn from my mom that didn't have a label but she was making I think was using it with the same burgundy color this my husband got for me red heart super saver mexicana and I have to have the perfect project for this I love the colors this one came with that oops from that knitting machine and I made a couple things with it but I mean I would venture to guess red heart it just feels like red heart that other one was more scrap Okay, so my husband called to let me know he is on the way home from work, um, and there's really nothing left in here, but that's why the video got interrupted. So, this I made on that little spool loom. I just took an entire um, skein of Red Heart with Love Sparkle in the red and made, like, I guess, so I saw it at Hobby Lobby where they had, like, this chain yarn. So I thought I'd make some of my own. I don't know what I'll do with it yet, but there's that. And then just little scrap balls and a message in a bottle that my husband had made for me uh, many years ago. But otherwise it's just scraps and then a clothes pin. Um, and this I had made teeny tiny knitting needles out of toothpicks um, because there was like an elf on the shelf thing basically that I was doing. Um, so that's that. So I got to get this all put back together and I will catch you tomorrow. Um, we'll go through that third bin.